Indeed, I say it is a privilege and an honor to announce this winner, Miss Vivian Lee in Gorm. Ladies and gentlemen, please forgive me if my words are inadequate in thanking you for your very great kindness. If I were to mention all those who've shown me such wonderful generosity through Gone with the Wind, I should have to entertain you with an oration as long as Gone with the Wind itself. So, if I may, I should like to devote my thanks on this occasion to that composite figure of energy, courage, and very great kindness in whom all points of Gone with the Wind meet, Mr. David Selznick. People by the thousands turn out for Hollywood's biggest event, the Academy Awards. The Oscar I know you're all extremely anxious to hear who won the award for the best actress of 1951. So without further ado, I give you a distinguished Academy Award winner, Mr. Ronald Coleman. Those nominated for the best performance by an actress are Katherine Hepburn and the African Queen, Horizon Enterprises Incorporated, United Artists. Vivian Lee in A Streetcar Named Desire, Charles K. Fellman Group Productions, Warner Brothers. Eleanor Parker in Detective Story, Paramount. Shelley Winters in A Place in the Sun, Paramount. And Jane Wyman in The Blue Veil, Walt Krasner, Productions Incorporated, RKO Radio. And the envelope, please. The winner is Vivian Lee in A Streetcar Named Desire. By radio in a New York dressing room, Vivian Lee, with her husband Lawrence Olivia, hears... The winner is Vivian Lee in a street town in design. On the Vivian Lee is not here to accept the award. Miss Greer Garson, who won it in 1942 for her portrayal of Mrs. Miniver, is here to accept it for her. It's an honor and a thrill to accept this for you, Vivian. I hope you're listening in New York. We're all very excited about it. God bless you and congratulations. I know she would want to thank you if she were here herself. This is the second award you will be made. 